Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your buddy Jake here. Just want to do kind of an update on how the Fall Tour documentary is coming along. And basically, you know, I'll show you here. This is the folder from all of the footage that I had gotten during the tour. And if you go to properties here, it's about 250 gigs worth of footage. So that's, it's you know, 1080p footage. It's not 4K footage. And it's, uh, you know, 652 clips here. And uh, I had another maybe 65 or 70 gigs from the dispatches that I was doing um, that I kind of released throughout the tour. So I just finished up. I kind of went through and took all of the interview clips and I sort of separated those from all of the B-roll clips and stuff that weren't just, you know, straight interviews, people talking. Because I think I want to first do a trailer, release something that's some somewhere between 30 seconds and two minutes, something like that. Kind of hopefully get people hyped up a little bit. But I kind of combed through the clips and I started looking for just like, you know, quick little one-liner things because I have, you know, all these different just so many different people that I'm interviewing here and there's just so much that I don't want to kind of bore people. The point of a trailer is to kind of get people hyped up for something and, you know, I could show like two-minute clips in a trailer, but that wouldn't really make it much of a trailer. So anyway, I kind of went and combed through. And after getting, you know, all these clips, <clears throat> I had somewhere, it's about 52 minutes. So that is still, you know, way, way too much for a trailer. So I got to comb that back. But I'm happy I actually got to look through the footage for, like, the first time, really. So basically, when I was doing the fall tour, I would, you know, get home from the show. And the first thing I would do was take the SD cards out of the camera and I'd back up the footage to hard drives. And I have a SSD I was putting it on and a traditional spinning hard drive. So God forbid something happened to one of them, I'd have it on the other. So I, you know, it was kind of go, go, go throughout the tour. I really, I'd skim through it a little bit and I'd just find a couple B-roll clips to put in those uh, dispatches I was doing. But I really didn't really get too much of a chance to go through and look at it. When I got home from the tour, I was pretty deep in book flu and it, it got, you know, a little bit worse. And I'm finally like on the upswing now. I'm about, you know, 85% back to normal. Just got a little bit of a cough. But I started going through and doing this editing. And I kind of realized how massive of a project this is going to be. But I'm super excited for it. I'm very hyped on it. It's something I'll probably, you know, put a, an hour or two in each day uh, during the weekdays. And then hopefully more on the weekends and try and get it done sooner rather than later, you know. But with this trailer, it's nice because I really got to familiarize myself with the clips and I think that there's just a lot of really good interviews that I kind of didn't get too much of a chance to go through and take too that great of a look at the first time. So it's uh, it's pretty awesome to see that what I, I got from the tour. So what I'd gotten from these first batch of clips here, this is what I'd cut out of these clips. So with these first kind of batch here, I have about 52 minutes, 13 seconds. And then with these, I have, uh, let's see, do this, put this all in one. The total of all just the interviews is about two and a half hours, two hours, 27 minutes. So, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of interviews, and I'm very just hyped because there's a lot of just good, good interviews in here. So I'm really happy with what I got here. I mean, there's just people from all different ages, male, female. There's funny interviews. There's more serious interviews. There's people that are brand new to fish, people that have been seeing them since 1991. Just all sorts of vendors, fans. Just, just really happy with how it came out. I think it's pretty hard. It's just a one-man kind of team. Uh, first time doing a documentary and doing the filming and everything just by yourself. It's kind of hard to cover every single aspect of the scene. I'm pretty happy with what I got, though. I mean, I covered, like, a wide variety of just, you know, people and kind of emotions and, you know, just a whole bunch of different kind of aspects and topics that were covered. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. There's a lot of the B-roll stuff I hadn't really combed through all too much. I kind of just skimmed through it quickly when I was doing those dispatches and found, like, oh, this is a nice shot of the bat. We'll throw that in there. And I'd only throw in a few different B-roll clips for just a couple seconds each into the dispatches to kind of, I don't know, just kind of, you know, show what it was like there a little bit. Nothing too extensive. I was saving most of it for this stuff. So I'm pretty excited to actually get all this stuff put together. I think I'm going to do a trailer. Um, as I mentioned, that will be kind of the first thing I'll release. 
And this will just be mostly to get people hyped up, familiarize myself with the footage and kind of, you know, hopefully get some more subscribers and people that are interested in the actual release of it. So once I'm done with this, then I'll start the actual main production of the documentary itself. And with that, I'll do a fair amount of editing on it. You know, it's nothing going to be over the top editing or anything, but it's going to, you know, I want to make it look nice. And, you know, I spent all this time doing it and all that. And I want it to just look like a, you know, somewhat nicely polished up kind of uh, video, you know. And then there's just so much stuff. Like, it, you know, I have like two and a half hours worth of just interviews. So I think I might do a third one where, you know, in the main documentary, I'll, I'll, I'll cut out some of the fluff and not interesting moments during the uh, interviews. But then maybe I'll release like a full on unedited sort of interviews and stuff like that and maybe throw some b-roll footage in there too or just keep the b-roll footage out of it entirely so I'll probably do something like that you know after the the main documentary is done that probably should not take too long to edit because i won't do extensive editing on that one but it will kind of show you what it's like the questions i was asking more in depth because it's going to be kind of hard to completely cut myself out from myself asking questions i want it to be really focused on just the people being interviewed as opposed to uh you know, me and them having a conversation, but that's kind of how it, you know, how to get the responses. You got to kind of have an, a conversation. So I think maybe I'll do that in the, the more raw, unedited one. So I don't really have like an official name for it yet. I'm kind of toying around with the idea of using talk as the name for it, you know, the fish song, because that's really what this is mostly focused on is interviews and people talking with some B-roll footage as, as well included in it. That's basically how it's coming along. I just want to do a kind of an update, you know, let you know how it's going along, how it came out, the footage and stuff. Um, there's little things like, you know, up in the top right corner of the screen here, I have like, that's the wind muff from the microphone. And that shows up in a fair amount of clips, but it is what it is. I'm not like, it's not like a make or break thing to me. I kind of like a more raw look. This isn't like a high budget production. It's, it's really kind of like a no budget production, you know, I have my gear and then I had got my tickets and kind of did it on the cheap all as a one-man team and I think it's not really more so about that but more so what the people are saying about what the scene is like and some nice visuals as well so if you want to subscribe I'd really appreciate it and it kind of help you out too if you're interested in this stuff and you're kind of you know you really want to check out the documentary that way you can just have my channel page saved you won't have to go and search for my channel all the time Every new video I'll be releasing, you can go in and find my channel and your, you know, your subscriptions, and you can view it from there. And then I think there's a notification button that you can hit. That way you'll get a notification. Like the second I upload a video, you'll get a notification. You can see it if you're like really into it. And um, yeah, it just really help me out if you did that. But I won't go on too much longer here. I'm really excited with how this is turning out. I think that, uh, you know, especially the people that were interviewed, I've gotten a few text messages that were asking, you know, where can I see it? And, you know, I, you know, I gave them the channel. It's, you know, it's nowhere near being just immediately done right now, of course, but it will be, you know, in due time. So that's about it for now. Maybe I'll do another one of these update videos along the road. Uh, I don't know. See how long it takes. But thank you guys for watching so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone that was involved in the making of this, you know, all the people I interviewed, all the people from fish.net, the fellowship, random people I just found at the shows that were interested. It's really just focused on the scene and it's more so about, I think, us than about the band itself. Um, and I think it's just something that should be kind of documented and preserved because it's really just a cool part of American music history that is kind of, you know, won't be around forever. So I just want to thank everybody that was involved in this so far. All the people I interviewed, people from fish.net, people I met on the lot, people that have been, you know, checking out these videos, checking out the YouTube channel and all that stuff. Because without you guys, it'd just be me kind of aimlessly walking around these parking lots with a camera filming just nothing. So I wouldn't be able to do it without all of your guys' uh, interest in it. So I'll do it for now. I'm Jake, and thank you guys for checking it out. I'm going to shut up now. And uh, we'll see you at the next lot.